So for a little while now, there's been quite a few rumors here and there about Grand Theft Auto 6 and Bully 2. And as much as I would love to see a Grand Theft Auto 6 come soon because of the fact that it's been almost seven years since GTA 5 released, for those that have forgotten, it came out originally back in September of 2013, not too long before the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 released, which was in November of that year. And then the game was re-released for current gen systems in November 2014, and then I believe January 2015th on PC. So as much as I would love to see a GTA 6, and as excited as I will be for a GTA 6, the one game that I think should happen before GTA 6, and I would be much more excited for, honestly, is Bully 2. Now for those that haven't played the first Bully, it is a gem that deserves to be experienced by anyone, and everyone. It was pure fun. It's basically the kid version of GTA. It came out back in like 2005, 6. It's, it's pretty old at this point, but I first played it back in 2015 and it was a ton of fun. I love the characters. I really enjoyed the story. I thought the gameplay was great. I really enjoyed running around the city and just exploring everything. In general, it was just a fantastic game with a lot of charm to it. And I easily consider it one of Rockstar's best games today. It still holds up as one of their crown gems, easily, without a doubt. And you cannot convince me otherwise. It's just that fantastic of a game. And that's not the only reason why it deserves to have a sequel after all these years, just because it's so great, but because there's a lot of potential for what they could do with a Bully 2, especially because of the rumors about a Bully 2. Like how there's rumors about Bully 2 apparently taking place during college instead of just in school, which I think would be great. There's a lot that they can do with that setting. They can maybe take the much more kid-friendly style of Bully, which is, to me, I've always seen Bully as like the kids version of Grand Theft Auto. Just like how I consider Red Dead to be like the cowboy version of GTA. I think if they were to take that formula from the first Bully and then put it into a college setting, which would allow them a bit more freedom and maybe some more mature themes and ideas for the game, they could take everything that made the first game great, but just expand upon it. They could have something that's a bit more like GTA, but still doesn't cross the line into being GTA. And if Jimmy Hopkins, who is the main protagonist of Bully 1, were to return in the sequel, obviously they would have to age him up a bit, but I think that doing something like this would have a lot of potential too, because having him in a much more adult setting that's no longer just in school, but instead is in a college with a bunch of other young adults around his age, there's a lot of potential for much more character growth and change and just seeing how he is in a more mature setting as opposed to a younger one that the first game featured in. Also, it'd be a cool way to see other characters from the first game return and see how they've changed since the events of the first game and how life's affected them since that first game and just seeing a contrast between then and now, I think would be great. It'd just be a cool way to mirror things and something else they could do is take this type of content and story missions from the first game and maybe mature that up a little bit to where what you saw in the first game with that content, with the little activities that you did, this is how it is now in this setting in this game. And in general, just seeing that universe and setting in today's climate along with the graphical fidelity and power that we have now, along with the next generation systems on the horizon, it would just be really awesome to see. And yes, I know that a Bully 2 as of now is pretty unrealistic, especially because I'm sure that Rockstar definitely wants to have another GTA come out at some point within the next few years, maybe if not that, at least teased to some extent because of just how successful GTA 5 was. And even though I know it's still very popular right now, there's always the chance that it could slowly start losing popularity. It's hard to say because GTA is such a juggernaut of a game. It's such a success story that there's no really telling. So even though Bully 2 is pretty unrealistic and I know that Rockstar shot down any rumors of it last year, but that doesn't mean a Bully 2 still can't happen in some form or another. That doesn't mean that we can't get another game at some point in the future, whether it be five years from now, 10 years from now, wherever or whenever the case may be. The possibility is always there. The demand is obviously there. That's the reason why this video exists after all. So you never know. But even if a sequel never does happen, that doesn't mean that we still can't find a way to revisit that universe in some way. In other words, Rockstar, please remaster Bully. Just straight up take the first game and give it a fresh coat of paint with today's graphics. That's literally all you need to do. In fact, don't even worry about giving it better graphics. Just re-release that shit on the Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Or better yet, 
re-release it for the Xbox Series X, PS5, and PC. Maybe even Switch if you want to be a little cocky and a little risky. Just imagine being able to bully all of your fellow classmates, piss off all your teachers, and fail all your classes, but on the go on the Switch. Doesn't that sound incredible? I think that sounds amazing. It's just like real life, but in a video game. So, for that reason alone, I think that we should get to re-experience Bully. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Uh, Mitchie, why don't you just go replay the game on Xbox 360, or better yet, rebuy it on Steam for $15? Well, I'll tell you why I don't want to do that. For one, why would I want to spend $15 on a fucking 14-year-old game, and two, uh, shut up. But that's why I think a Bully 2 should happen before Grand Theft Auto 6. Also, if Bully 2 were to ever happen, you know for a fact that we'd get a Bully online along with it, meaning that you could get the opportunity to spend $5 on Bully cards in order to fuck all of your professors in class. But the thing is, because you paid for it, you can get away with it. Also, it's not real life, so it's okay. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Just like Titanfall 3 and Bad Company 3, Bully 2 is yet another game which I wish to happen but probably never will, as do many of you feel the same way, I'm sure. But that's it. It sucks, but it is what it is. Maybe I'll make a video dedicated solely to GTA 6 at some point. Fuck if I know. We'll see. But that's all I wanted to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, then make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for future content coming soon, and I will see you all next time. But until then, I'm out. Later.